challenge of the Yukon. On King! On your husky! The Wonder Dog King, swiftest and strongest of Eskimo lead dogs, blazes the trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the challenge of the Yukon. Sergeant Preston was typical of the small band of Northwest Mounted Police who preserved law and order in the new Northwest country where the greed for wealth and power led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog King met that challenge and justice ruled triumphant. Jack Gray's face looked white and drawn as he walked into the small wooden jail in the town of Selkirk. As he heard the cell door close behind him, Hewlett, a big dark man sitting on a cot, looked up at him. I'm slated to go with you, Hewlett. Back to Canada tomorrow. Been found guilty of murder of Jim, but we both hang by an extra bed. But you say you do not kill this Jim Steele. I still huh? say that. The evidence was all against me. With me, you can <laughs> tell the truth. I killed the man. They slit his throat with my knife. I am not sorry. But I didn't do it. I had a hang of you. <laughs> yeah, me? I do not want to have my neck stretch either. Wait. What? The jailer. Come. Look at this window. What? Come over here. What is it? See these bars? What? No, the jailer. He's sound sleeper. One more bar I have to file. Tonight we... Our neck will not stretch. <laughs> Two weeks later, Jack and Kulik were camped in the mountains, well off the trail. Both men were haggard and worn. Kulik was getting ugly. We run short of food. Without gun is bad. Maybe we'd better give ourselves up, Kulik. They might give us another trial. Yeah, are you crazy? We should have robbed trading posts like I want to. And we'd have food and gun. There must be some other way. They... No, Kulik. Down there in the valley. Isn't that a man of the dog team? Yes. He's stopping there. Maybe he's going to make camp. It's getting dark. I bet he could give us some food or let us use gun. We could say we got lost. I will go down alone. Kill it. Is that you? Yes. It's me. I thought you weren't coming back. You were gone so long. <laughs> Got supplies. How'd you get all those supplies? The man give you everything he had? The dog team is at the port in the mountain. Tomorrow we leave here. The dog team? You, you murdered that man and robbed him. It is funny you do not ask questions. Why did you I... come back here? Why didn't you just take the team and leave? Two are better than one. One can sleep, the other can watch. Oh, but, but not murder to kill a man in cold blood. Maybe you would rather hang, huh? Yes, Julie. I think I'd rather hang. Ah, you fool. You are young. But you will soon change. Remember, I now have gun and also my knife. You have seen how well I throw it. You will do as I say. Sergeant Preston of the Northwest Mounted Police stopped his dog team and entered a small cabin beside the trail in the valley. Go in, Sergeant. Have a chair. I am just fixing some tea for myself. You would like some, no? Why, thank you, I would. Me, I am Jean Le Duc. When I hear your dog team, I think it is my partner. He's gone for supply. I expect him yesterday. Which way to go? He went north to Moosehead. Well, I came up from the south, but I... Starting north, by the way. You do not stay. I just stopped in to get some information as possible. 
I want the trail of two men who escaped from jail in Selkirk. They've been seen in this vicinity. One is uh, part French and part Russian, and the other is a young Canadian. I have seen no one since Philippe, my partner, has left. No one used this trail very much. Well, they may not have come this way at all. Sergeant, I am worrisome about Philippe. Oh? He never stayed away so long before. Maybe something happened to him. Well, he probably stayed in town to celebrate or something. No, no, not Philippe. He drink only little wine. Well, come along with me, if you like. No problem. My dear, I will go with you. It was noon following day when Sergeant Preston and Jean neared the mountain. King, running ahead of the team, suddenly ran on the trail and stopped. Your dog, he is leaving trail. Oh, hello, oh, husband. What's wrong, King? What is it? What? Look, Jean. The man lying there under that shelter. Wait. Uh, it looked like... Is this your partner? Wait. Is this really... He's been dead for quite a while. Poor Philly. But, Sergeant, he does not freeze to death. See, there is blood on snow. Yes, he was stabbed with a knife. Got a dog came, didn't he? Wait. There are the tracks. He's murdered and robbed. I'm sorry, Jim. The men you look for, you think maybe well, they... Well, Tulick could have done this. Sentenced to hang for knifing a man. I can follow this trail. But it is dangerous for you. If this man is killer, may you need me. I think King and I can handle him. Four things to find him. Come on, King. Bye, Jane. Good luck, Sergeant. On, King! On, your husband! Jack and Kulik had traveled slowly for two days. Both men were tired from their long trek, when they had carried their own packs and lived on very little food. Now that they had a dog team, the going was easier, but they still needed rest. Jack staggered as they climbed the steep mountain trail. Stop the dogs, Kulik. I've got to rest. We stop behind the rocks ahead. And the one can see us. Come on. There isn't much daylight left. We have to camp soon. There's no place to camp on mountain trail. Yeah, here are rocks. We rest for a while, huh? Oh, oh, yeah. oh a steep climb. Yeah, look down. Um, to fall off it would be... Who is that? Where? Down there. The dog team and the man. Each following our trail. Oh, yeah. I see him. Uh, get to my right with Maybe he isn't following us, Kulik. We cannot guess what he does. No, Kulik, you can't hurt him like get this. Get back. You will get it first. Kulik. Get back, I say. Back, Adam. Don't shoot, Kulik. If you do as I say, you can stay alive. I will stop him in his tracks, eh? Huh? <laughs> uh, what is wrong with this gun? Probably can't. Will not work. He is right below us. Let's get going, Kulik. No. Ah. Don't push that rock down on him. Julie, don't. Julie, he'll be buried in it. That rock started a small avalanche. Oh, yeah, I got him, huh? A rock or something hit him. He almost got out from under. Uh, he's a bird. <laughs> he will not get us. His dog team didn't get hurt. And the sled's all right. Come, we get down there. Let's get him out, Julie. That's a horrible death. We get down. But only to get his sled and hogs. Jack was well ahead of Kulik when he reached the half buried figure lying beside the cliff. A big dog was digging frantically to free his master. Yeah, I'll help you, fella. Into the shovel. There. Now I can pull him out. What are you doing? He's still alive. He's breathing. Yeah. Look at his cap. That strap on his pants. He's a monkey. Oh, uh, come on, you fool. He's after no, us. I don't care if he is a Mountie. I'm not going to leave him here to die. When I slit his throat, maybe you'll change your mind. Get away. Stop him. Oh, my hand. My hand. I've got your knife. Get this dog away. You let me move. You're nothing but a dirty murderer, Kulik. You're going to stay right where you are until I take care of the man. Watch him, fella.
Sergeant Preston lay unconscious on his sled. King, his big dog, close beside him. The dog's eyes never left the outlaw Kulik, who sat near the fire nursing his right hand, which King's strong jaws had almost crushed. Jack held Sergeant Preston's revolver. It's no use, Kulik. I'm not going away with you. You know I cannot go without you. I'm helpless. With only one hand, I cannot handle dogs. Here's some food. You need it alone? Yes. You will be sorry you are set fool when you stretch at the end of a rope. I'm not a criminal, Kulik. Going with you, robbing. Look, I can't do it. This morning lives, I'm going back with him. If you would only let me kill him, by now we could be free. You could shoot that dog. No one would ever catch you. It's no use, Kulik. You're wasting your breath. The pale morning sunshine dazzled Sergeant Preston's eyes. He tried to sit up, but a sharp pain shot through his body. And then he felt the warm tongue of King on his face. Oh, hello, King, old fella. Are you all right? Well, I'm conscious, if that's what you mean. My gun's gone. I doubt that I'm all right in every sense of the word. That dog, stop him. Quiet, oh. King. He doesn't seem to like you. You're Kulik, aren't you? Yes. What is your name, Marty? I'm Sergeant Preston. You were trailing us, sir. It's obvious, I think. As you can see, we have saved your life. You were caught in an avalanche. Now, perhaps you will make a deal with us, sir. You'll raise me up a little. I can talk. Here, we'll help you. Certainly, Sergeant. Quiet. <laughs> King doesn't like you, Kulik. You better let Jack do it alone. Here, I'll put this blanket behind you. Thanks. <laughs> oh. Now, what's this deal you have in mind? You can decide now, Marty. If you will go back and say you found this dead for pleasing, you will see that you get back. Mm. And if I don't? Then you could have a choice. You stay here and please by yourself. Or maybe a quicker death. We have your gun. What do you say, Jack? What's your decision, Sergeant? I'm afraid you're going to have to shoot me. You won't do it, Jack. No. You'd rather lose your life I uh, think you'll understand, Jack. Kill the dog first, Jack. Shoot him now. Go ahead, Jack. I'm ready. What's up? No, I can't. Give me my gun. Don't you fool. I'll go back with you, even if I have to hang. You won't hang, Jack. What? You've been free all the time. Free? You were to hang for the murder of Jim Steele. The night you escaped, a man was shot in a barroom fight. Before he died, he confessed to Jim's murder. Free? But but you almost let me kill you. I knew you wouldn't, Jack. King's actions showed me who really wanted to kill me. Stand right where you are, Kulik. You won't get far with that dog watching you. You're the one I'm taking back to Selkirk. <laughs> Copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Detroit, and all cases and incidents used are fictitious. They are sent to you each week at this same time. This is Larry McCann speaking. This is the Michigan Radio Network.